Welcome to Simple Software Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a searchable drop down list in Excel. Now, these steps might look a little bit intimidating, but it's really not that complicated. So I have full faith that you can do this. So uh, just a quick run through of what we're going to be doing. So I've got an example of how this will look in Excel. So basically, we're going to have a search column or search cell here and then followed by the search results here that are filtered by what you've searched for. So in this example, I type three. So all of the uh, options that have a three in it will be here displayed for selection from this drop-down list. So um, first we'll create a list of options. Then we will choose a cell for the search box. Then we will use the filter function to generate search results. And I have a couple different options here, depending on what you want to do, um, whether you want to allow for partial matches, exact matches, or even case sensitive exact matches. Uh, then we will create a named range for the filtered results list. And then lastly, apply data validation, which means creating this drop down box here. So, um, Again, it kind of looks like a lot, but it's it's really not too bad. So let's dive in. So the first thing we want to do is create our options list. So this might be account numbers, names, um, what have you. I'm just going to uh, enter option one, option two, and then let Excel handle the rest for me. So I'm just going to go through. I'm going to have 35 results. It doesn't really matter how many you have. I'm going to bold this, just control B here. So that's step one, pretty easy. Now, next thing we want to do is create our, our uh, search box. So nothing exciting here. All I'm going to do, so I'm going to say this goes into cell D1 here. I'm just going to put a border around it so I know that I'm going to be doing something here. And then next to it in this cell, I'm just going to type search and right align that there. So basically this tells me we're going to type our search into this cell here and then bolt that as well. So next thing we want to do is use that filter function to generate the search results. So what this is going to initially do is say we put this in column G here. So what it will initially do when we enter this formula is it's going to list every so basically all of these options it will repeat them here and then once we type something into the search box here it will then display only these options that match what's in the search box so what we do i can just type it in here so basically we want to and I will have these formulas down in the either the description and or a pinned comment just so you can easily grab them. Um, but first thing we want to do, so we want to do a filter here. Okay, so I'm telling it, let's use a filter. And then my options are in column A. So I want to enter the range here. So I'm going to type A. Um, you can also actually, if I want to just select that, and drag down you can see my formula up here is uh, is updating now say i want to add additional options maybe i'm going to have a thousand options at some point you don't have to just select this range you can just enter as far as you want so say i want to just go down to 1000 just in case i add additional um, you know options there that will automatically pick them up when i add them to the list okay so next thing we want to type in is is number. This is just going to check and see if it's a number. There's a whole slew of things that it does, like checking the position of where this option is, where it matches. Um, so now we want to type in search and then a parentheses. And then where are we searching? We are searching in the search box here. So you can either type in D1 or just select it and it's going to pop it in there. And then so it's going to say search there. And then we want to enter that range again where our options are. Remember, I entered A2 through A1000. So we just want to do the same thing there. 
A2 through A1000. Okay, so it's going to see what's in that search box. See, does it show up there? And then we're going to do a comma and then a space and then two quotation marks and then the end there. Okay, so basically it's going to say if if one of these options matches what's been entered in here, then display it here. That's what that, that, those two quotation marks is. It just yanks that value from there and puts it here. So, see, it already works. Okay. So now on to the next step here. So what we want to do now is we need to have that drop down box. But before we can have the drop down box, we need to tell that drop down box where to look for the filtered results. So we're going to create a named range for these filter for this filtered results list here. So we do that by going up to the formulas tab and then clicking on name manager. And then we're going to want to go ahead and create a new uh, new name here. And so this is basically going to refer to the results here. So I'm going to give it a name and you can name it whatever you want. Just make it something easy that you'll you'll be able to remember because we're going to come back to this. So I am just going to call it search list and make sure you rem remember the case that you chose here. So I capitalized the S and the L. The scope is just where, where does this refer to? Is it the entire workbook or do we want it just to look on this one sheet here? So um, you can choose whatever makes most sense for what you're doing, but workbook should be fine. And then the last thing here is we want to say what area of this sheet does this refer to? So I can go ahead and click on this arrow here. And I'm just going to select this whole column here because this is where the search results are going to be. I could enter a range, um, you know, like I did for um, creating the filter in the first place, but this way it just captures everything. It's, it's easier. So I can either hit enter or click on this button. Okay. So I have search list here refers to this row. Everything's looking great. So I'm going to go ahead and click okay and then I can close out of here. And if you need to come back and enter this, you can do it the same way. Formulas, name manager, select this, click on edit, and you can make any adjustments that you want to there. Okay, so I'm gonna close this. Okay, last step, not too bad, huh? So last step is where we create our dropdown. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna call this select. So we search here, we select there, just going to right align that and then control B to bold that. I can go ahead and add a border there as well, just so I know that this is where I enter something, that's where I select that drop down. Okay, so we're gonna click here because this is where we want the drop down. So we're going to use data validation, kind of a I don't know, it could be an intimidating uh, word there, phrase there, but uh, it just means that we're going to create a dropdown. So we click on the data tab here, and then we go over to data validation. It's over here on the data tools uh, section, and we're just going to select data validation again. And then from here on the settings tab, we want to allow a list. That means that we're going to allow it to create a drop down list. Okay, and now the source, the source, that's where we need to remember what we entered for this named range here, remember? So what we want to do is we want to type in the equal sign, and then we want to type in that range. So I'm going to type search list exactly how I entered it. You might be able to copy and paste, but I have a feeling, uh, memory serves me right that doesn't always work so it's good to name it something you'll easily be able to type in and, and remember so then I'm going to click OK and there's our drop down here now since I haven't entered anything in the search box I'm going to see all of those results okay but now if I type in for example we'll just type in 2 I'm gonna hit enter 
we can see all of the results here in real time. And then on this drop down, it's filtered. So it's showing only results with two in it. So that's pretty handy. Now, if you know you want to um, have this information not visible, you can always put it on another sheet. You can always select that and do hide so it stays hidden there. But know that if people can alter the uh, the spreadsheet here, like by adding columns and stuff, that could potentially um, disrupt your list. So as a best practice, I would probably put it on another sheet. Um, but this is a, a great example of showing how this works. So that's how to create a searchable drop-down list in Excel. Uh, this is for newer versions. If you have 2019 or earlier, this is not going to work as well. Um, I do have workarounds for that if, if you could be interested in that, but this should work in Microsoft 365 or newer versions of it. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, drop me a comment if you have any questions or comments or ideas. You guys give me a lot of great ideas uh, on you know, other things that I can uh, show you. So I really appreciate those comments. And have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in.